As engineers move towards creating more accurate structural models accounting for the alignment of finer elements used to represent surfaces has become more important. In this short video we shall see how this can be achieved with the use of plate alignment function added to STAB Pro to complement the member alignment method which has commonly been used for similar effects on beam objects. Here we're going to use a sample structure included with the installation UK10 finite element model of a rectangular tank. Without any assigned offsets, a rendered view shows the corners of the walls overlap and the slab base only extends to the center liners of the walls. We can see this using a rendered view. Here, by pressing the spacebar when the main graphic window is the current window, we get the quick commands toolbox which in this instance has been customized for displaying views. There are two basic methods for assigning offsets. One method allows the corner of the plate to be offset individually from its defined node. We'll use that one shortly. The second, which we'll use on the walls, defines an offset that is perpendicular to the plate surface. So to see which is a positive direction, we use the Shift T shortcut and can see the plate local axes and the direction which a positive Z offset will move the plate. Taking a planned view of the model, holding the control key down to add to the selection, the wall lines on the left and right are selected. These are then moved out by half the wall thickness of 100 millimeters. Now a similar operation is performed on the other two walls which this time move in by half the wall thickness of 100 millimeters. We can see the effect this has on the model by selecting all the walls and creating a 3D view. The next operation is now to extend the slab to meet the face of the walls that were moved out. This will be achieved by using the other form of the plate offset mentioned earlier, and that is by moving the plate joints to the required positions. This time, let's create a new view of just the plates that form the slab and view them on plan. On the left, we need to move the nodes one and four to the left by the thickness of the wall. That is 200 millimeters. In this case, using the global offsets and a negative value as the corners need to move out more to the left. Select the plates we need to modify and then assign the offset first on node one and then on node four. We can tell this from the local axes of the plates. A plate is defined by the sequence of nodes when defining the plate starting at node 1, then node 2, node 3, and in the case of quad plates, node 4. The local x-axis displayed on each plate shows the direction going from the node 1 to node 2. The local y-axis then indicates the direction to continue round the plate to nodes 3 and ultimately 4. A similar operation is then applied to the plates on the right of the surface. This time, however, we want to move the other two nodes, two and three of each of the plates. Also, as we want to extend the plates to the right, the value entered is plus 200 millimeters. And there you have it. As we have removed the overlap of the walls by using the Z offset method, and we have extended the slab by using the global joint method, analytically, the model accounts for these offsets in a very similar way to that used for members and connectivity with the rest of the model is maintained internally with generated links. But now you have a more accurate representation of the tank, which is setting you up for better interrupt, which will be coming up in the future.